Right, so we've filled up um, our clay. That slips in there and goes through. You want to make sure that it's absolutely clean there because that then slots in there. You want to turn that and try and get it as tight as you can. Make sure that there's no air leakage. And then there's a manual on off switch over here and that switches on the air pressure. You can start to see it coming out slowly. Now at first it tends to come slowly and so what I can do is switch it up here. So uh, clockwise is switching up the pressure and if you have a look on top we're working at about two bars. So if your clay is too hard obviously you need more air pressure and I think you're then just rather, rather pushing it. Um, two bar seems to be a good rate to work at. Well two, two bar to three bar. If you're below that it works all right. But, um, there we are, you can see it's sort of starting to flow quite nicely. Now I'm holding it here because on account of about five, I wanted to go from that height to that height. That's the sort of flow rate I tend to work on. So one and two and three and four. That's, that's great, possibly just a little bit slow. I tend to start a, a print a bit thick. One and two and three, four. Right, I think that's great, we'll work with that. Um, now the trouble is, although I can manually switch this off here, so that's the air pressure, the ooze should stop. There's a bit of latent pressure in here. So what I do is actually just release the pressure. That stops the ooze and then tighten it up again. Right. That then gets passed through the top. You can come through there, but then you've got this pipe flopping around. Good idea to take it through the top and down and it just slots into position. Right, now at the moment you can see this is actually touching our base. We print onto a wooden base, but you can always check the level. We have made some little yellow marks on these, that if you get all the yellow marks to the top, that should represent absolutely what we call zero, zero, zero. Right, those are all there. And my height is still actually slightly high. So to lower the nozzle down that little bit, it's this rubber ring that needs to be just moved up a bit. And then that'll lower down. This right, so with the little yellow marks all at the top, you should be just about a millimetre off the board. Now this is calibrated if you're going to print straight onto the board with no clay base. But if you are wanting to print with a clay base, then you need to take out the bottom board that is the similar sort of thickness to the clay So that when you come down again and that the yellow calibrations are there, you'll be just at the height of the clay. Right. Now, ideally don't move, certainly when the power is on, don't move the arms up and down because the little motors actually work as generators and then they will be sending a, a, a pulse of electricity back to your uh, electrics. When everything is switched off, very slowly you can move um, these arms up and down. Right, we start ready to start printing. So our file that's on the SD card goes in, into that slot there and it was upside down. Power on. Now if for some reason it doesn't power up, check that this hasn't gone to red. If it has gone to red, then at the wall pull off and then just re-power up and that comes to green. So your power pack needs to be green and then this will power up. And uh, the first screen is basically all your settings with Delta ready. So I press, this is your only control button. You press that one down and it comes up as that. And then you scroll by turning and you turn anti-clockwise. And we go down to card menu. I don't use prepare, I don't use control. Card menu, press again to accept that. 
and all the files that are on your SD card are there. So we're looking for rabbit. Uh, the last uh, file to be put on is at the bottom. And I press that and the printer starts going away. The printer is set to rise up to the top first of all. And then there are three points at the top that it homes at. So it knows just where it is at. And then right goes back down again. So those were the end stops that it was hitting. So it has such zeros it or homes it. Now I will manually switch on the pressure that will start the extrusion. I've wet the board so that the clay then sticks to the board. It's a good idea to keep your first layer a little on the thick side and just so that it either has a strong base if it doesn't have a clay base to it or that your first layers of clay will stick to a clay base if you have a clay base. Then the rate of flow is then controlled over here. Um, Anti-clockwise is less pressure, clockwise is more pressure. At the moment my flow is absolutely perfect so I'm not going to go either way. Now it is a good idea just to keep the nib clean the whole time, just so with a wet paint brush I will wipe down and make sure that there's no clay gathering on the tip of the uh, extruder. And if you've got quite a complicated form that starts leaning in or out, you'll start using the hairdryer. Right, so here we've got a readout. You can see 94, 95% of the print has been done and it's been running for 20, uh, 20 minutes. And that's the name of the, uh, the file that we're printing. And if we go back to the print, we're very near the top. Now obviously the um, flow keeps going, so as the print finishes, you want to just withdraw the extruder out of the holder. We've had the hairdryer going on this slowly. 